The other day, Elizabeth Warren published the results of a DNA test, which says that she may have an ancestor between six and 10 generations ago who might be Colombian, Peruvian, Mexican. They say that this is proof that she is Native American or has some Native American heritage. But first of all, it's a tiny, tiny fraction from six to 10 generations ago, potentially eight generations with the margin of error. But also they didn't actually test Native American DNA. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. Is Elizabeth Warren Native American? Who cares? No one does. Not even Donald Trump, not even most Republicans. The whole thing is silly. And the Democrats keep walking into these kind of traps that just make them look stupid. Elizabeth Warren taking this DNA test and publishing it does nothing for her credibility. In fact, I would imagine a reasonable person would conclude she isn't Native American because she has a tiny fraction of DNA that might come from Central America. They didn't test Native American DNA. This just shows one thing, that Trump is the alpha, that whatever he says goes and they will play his game whether or not he cares. If you were to ask me, I don't think Trump cares at all. He just calls people names. He calls Ted Cruz Lion Ted. He called Jeb Bush low energy and he calls Elizabeth Warren Pocahontas. It doesn't matter what she is. It doesn't matter what she talks about. He'd make up a name for her. She is just playing a game that only hurts the Democrats. And that's not just my opinion. Several media personalities have come out and said so. So today, let's take a look at the claims about Elizabeth Warren being Native American and why this is just so bad for the Democrats. But hey, before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Virtual Shield, today's sponsor. They're helping make this possible. Virtual Shield is a VPN service. If you're not familiar, a VPN is a virtual private network. What this service does is it keeps your browsing history private. Virtual Shield hides your IP address and encrypts your internet data so your online activity is out of sight of your internet service provider and any creepy snoopers. Right now, they're offering a Halloween sale, 25% off everything. You can get a virtual private network service for just $3.74 per month by going to hidewithtim.com and clicking get this exclusive deal. So if you're interested in protecting yourself or your friends and family, check out hidewithtim.com and sign up for Virtual Shield today. The first thing I want to point out is the media defense of Elizabeth Warren, which is, in my opinion, a mistake. The Daily Beast ran this story breaking. Elizabeth Warren releases her DNA test. Yes, she is Native American. No, this is not true. This is literally fake news. And there's a few things to consider as to why it's fake news. The Daily Caller focused on a key point in the Boston Globe story about Elizabeth Warren's DNA test. The Daily Caller says, according to a report by the Boston Globe, there is no Native American DNA available for genetic testing because Native American leaders have asked tribal members not to participate in genetic databases. Therefore, in order to test for Native American ancestry, genetic researchers have to use samples from other parts of the world. Carlos D. Bustamante, a Stanford University professor, used samples from Mexico, Peru, and Colombia to attempt to calculate how much Native American ancestry is in Warren's DNA. To make up for the dearth of Native American DNA, Bustamante used samples from Mexico, Peru, and Colombia to stand in for Native American. That's because scientists believe that the groups Americans refer to as Native American came to this land via the Bering Strait about 12,000 years ago and settled in what's now America, but also migrated further south, the Boston Globe explained. According to the American Indian and Alaskan Native Genetics Resource Center, no DNA test can prove that someone is American Indian because there are no unique genes for American Indian ancestry. Not only that, but why would you take the word of Elizabeth Warren and the people she hired? It's not proof of anything. She might be 164th to 1 1024th percent Native American, maybe. If we actually look at what the report says, it says Colombian, Peruvian, or Mexican, nothing about Cherokee. And this is her personal assessment. She hired someone, she did this. You can't take their word for it. The fact that the Daily Beast would say, yes, she's Native American, based off this highly dubious data, is ridiculous. But you know what? The Cherokee Nation has actually issued a statement calling what she did inappropriate. The Cherokee Nation tweeted out a response to Elizabeth Warren, and they said, A DNA test is useless to determine tribal citizenship. Current DNA tests do not even distinguish whether a person's ancestors were indigenous to North or South America. Sovereign tribal nations set their own legal requirements for citizenship. And while DNA tests can be used to determine lineage, such as paternity to an individual, it is not evidence for tribal affiliation. Using a DNA test to lay claim to any connection to the Cherokee Nation or any tribal nation, even vaguely, is inappropriate and wrong. 
It makes a mockery out of DNA tests and its legitimate uses, while also dishonoring legitimate tribal governments and their citizens, whose ancestors are well-documented and whose heritage is proven. Senator Warren is undermining tribal interests with her continued claims of tribal heritage. Trump is calling Elizabeth Warren Pocahontas as just a way to assign her a negative nickname. He does it to everyone. Don't play the game. But the Democrats keep walking into these traps. Trump doesn't care if she's Native American or not. In fact, most Republicans probably don't care at all. They're just making fun of her using a word. It's what Trump does. It is doing nothing for the Democrats for Elizabeth Warren to play this game. And as I mentioned earlier, it's not just my opinion. Ben Smith of BuzzFeed published this story the other day. Donald Trump will dominate the Democratic primary. Elizabeth Warren just showed him how. He says, as Democrats look toward a presidential primary that will begin in earnest approximately 11 seconds after the midterms, candidates should be ready for a new reality and the media for a new challenge. The reality is that the most important pundit, commentator, and great mentioner of the 2020 primary will be President Donald Trump. And the challenge for the media will be whether or not to let him dominate the Democratic primary. Democratic voters got an early sense of this when they woke up Monday morning to a slickly produced video from Elizabeth Warren about her DNA. The first 19 words in the video are spoken sneeringly by Donald Trump. The rest of the video answers a question Trump raised, takes a piece of bait he'd laid out, and Warren furiously, seeing no other option, took as a symbol of her willingness to fight. The video is, most of all, the strongest Democratic candidate thinking first of how to win the Democratic nomination and gauging entirely in absurd, racist terms laid out by the President of the United States might as well deal with it now, the logic goes. Obama eventually submitted to the grotesque ritual of releasing his birth certificate in person to the White House press. Warren's decision to launch her campaign on Donald Trump's terms is not going to discourage him. And it's easy to see how Trump will keep weighing in. The most obvious path is simply tweeting. He can live tweet speeches and debates, comment in the early morning hours on a candidate's looks or conduct, the usual. The other, which he's begun to try out, is to try to revive the flagging media interest in court gossip by talking about the Democrats to his civ-like staff and watching it leak to the press as a catalog of his views on the candidates. A tweet from Bess Kalb, who is a TV writer that's getting some traction, said, Hi, hello. I'm not an elite political consultant who makes $450,000 a year on K Street, but whoever let Elizabeth Warren take an effing DNA test and publicize the results should be sent to jail. She adds, we lost an election because we didn't know how to play against Trump. He scored against her yesterday, and it's terrifying. If Donald Trump tells you, I bet you can't stand on your head, and then you do a headstand, he won. And here it goes. Donald Trump tweeted, Pocahontas, the bad version, sometimes referred to as Elizabeth Warren, is getting slammed. She took a bogus DNA test, and it showed that she may be one one thousandth far less than the average American. Now Cherokee Nation denies her. Quote, DNA test is useless. Even they don't want her. Phony. He added, now that her claims of being of Indian heritage have turned out to be a scam and a lie, Elizabeth Warren should apologize for perpetrating this fraud against the American public. Harvard called her a person of color, amazing con, and would not have taken her otherwise. He adds, thank you to the Cherokee Nation for revealing that Elizabeth Warren, sometimes referred to as Pocahontas, is a complete and total fraud. What would a reasonable person conclude from seeing what Elizabeth Warren did? Are they going to rally behind her about how she actually is Cherokee? No. But progressives and people who are already tribal are going to say, of course she was telling the truth, and this proves it, even though they tested Colombian, Peruvian, and Mexican DNA and not Native American, and even though the Cherokee Nation has spoken out against her. She has done nothing but hurt herself. Period. What she has done has hurt the Democrats. Not just my opinion. I just showed you. You have multiple people, even BuzzFeed saying, you're giving Donald Trump too much power over what you do. Donald Trump doesn't care about any of this. No matter what you do, no matter what the Democrats do, he's going to keep playing his game. What he's doing is very much akin to what I see on social media. There are people on the right who are mostly focused on themselves, higher profile people who do work. Donald Trump does insult people for the most part, but Donald Trump talks about what he's doing and why he's doing it, and then he rags on his critics. The other people aren't talking about what they're going to do. They're talking about Donald Trump. All that does is feed into Trump's control of the narrative. And then Trump can say you're Pocahontas, and what does Elizabeth Warren do? She puts out a highly produced video explaining how she actually is having some kind of Cherokee heritage. Then she takes a DNA test, publishes the results, and makes herself look foolish. 
The Democrats are stuck playing the game Trump has laid out for them. And that means as long as they're doing what Trump wants, they are going to be one step behind him. But I guess at the end of the day, the problem for them is the economy is doing really well. And that is one of the most important things for the American voter. So what else do they have? They can just criticize Trump directly. And Elizabeth Warren is taking a huge step in terms of her 2020 race by countering back Donald Trump's insult, something that did not matter in the first place to Trump and most of his supporters. Do any of the people who like Trump care? Elizabeth Warren put out this test. No, they do not. Do any of the people who like Elizabeth Warren care that she put out this test? No, they do not because they already believed her and they already didn't like Trump. It was a huge waste of time that only showed the Democrats and Elizabeth Warren are going to play Trump's game and do what he wants them to do. And they are not going to be strong enough to set the cycle on their own. Trump says a word, something he doesn't care about in the first place. And Elizabeth Warren goes for it. As we heard from Bess Kalb, If Trump says do a headstand, and you do, you have lost. But let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll keep the conversation going. You can tell I get really frustrated at the constant terrible strategy from the Democrats. They keep doing bad things. They keep hurting themselves. This is not going to work, and they're probably going to keep losing. And it's really, really frustrating. But let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll keep the conversation going. You can follow me on Twitter at TimCast. Stay tuned. New videos every day at 4 p.m. And I've got more videos coming up on my second channel, youtube.com slash TimCastNews at 6 p.m. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all next time.